Like and subscribe as we get stuck into this one. Raw kicks off with the WWE World Heavyweight Champion Seth Freakin' Rollins. Seth thanks Drew McIntyre for their banger match at Crown Jewel and praises Drew for being a man of his word as Judgment Day didn't get involved in their match. Seth then says he wants to thank Sami Zayn who of course stopped Damian Priest from cashing in money in the bank by stealing the briefcase. Seth wants to thank Sami in person and calls him to the ring. Sami does come out but the briefcase is missing. Seth hazards a guess that Sami got to the building with the briefcase and Adam Pearce made him return it which Sammy confirms. Seth thanks Sammy and wants to repay him for helping him but Sammy is honest and says he didn't steal the briefcase to help Seth. He stole the briefcase to stop the Judgment Day getting all the gold and all the power in WWE to prevent them becoming Bloodline 2.0. Seth offers Sammy a World Championship match anytime for helping him and Sammy accepts and eventually challenges Seth to the match tonight. Your main event is set. Seth Rollins will defend the World Heavyweight Championship against Sammy Zayn. Backstage Damian Priest is raging Sammy got a title opportunity for stealing his briefcase and he and Finn vow to take out New Day and make things right on Raw. There's also a funny moment here where JD McDonough is wearing a Damien Priest shirt so Priest asked JD if he bought it. JD says Priest left it laying around and nobody else wanted it which made me laugh. New Day take on the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions Finn Balor and Damien Priest in non-title tag action. Priest hits a South of Heaven chokeslam and Balor hits coup de gras as Judgment Day pick up the win. Drew McIntyre is shown arriving to the arena but jumping Jackie Redman asks him to comment on his loss at Crown Jewel and he gets back in the car and leaves. Good job, Jackie, chasing away the talent like that. Shinsuke Nakamura takes on Akira Tozawa next. Nakamura hits the Kinshasa to pick up the quick win. After the match, Shin goes face to face with Otis but sees how big and cute he is and doesn't want to mess with him, so he walks away. Up next, it's a fatal four-way match with the winner getting an Intercontinental Championship match against Gunther. The competitors are The Miz, Bronson Reed, Ivar and Ricochet. Finish to this one is weird. Ricochet and Miz are both down so both Ivar and Bronson go for top rope moves. Ivar hits the moonsault, Reed misses the tsunami. Ivar pins Ricochet and Miz pins Reed. The referee slow counts, Ricochet gets a shoulder up but Miz pins Bronson Reed to win. It was a strange end to a decent match. After the match, Ivar attacks Miz and beats him down before hitting another moonsault. Earlier in the day we see the Creed brothers and Ivy Nile sign their raw contracts. They get approached by DIY who challenged them to a match tonight and it's made official. That match is right now is the Creed's face DIY. DIY look for meeting the middle on Julius but Brutus pulls Champa out of the ring and throws him into the barricade. Ludwig Kaiser takes advantage of a distracted referee and kicks Johnny Gargano and the Creed's take advantage hitting the Brutus ball to pick up the win. Backstage Jey Uso wishes Sami Zayn good luck in his world championship match later on tonight. It's here we find out that Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso have a rematch for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships against Judgment Day next week. Becky Lynch is here, she's the clear favourite in the battle royal happening right now. The winner gets a championship match with Rhea Ripley. Becky gets jumped before the match by Zia Lee who knocks out Becky with a corkscrew kick. Adam Pearce then doesn't let Zia into the battle royal and Zia looks like she's going to cry. What did you think was going to happen? This is like when a footballer puts in a leg break or gets sent off and starts arguing with the referee. If you've seen one battle royal you've seen them all so I'll get to the finish. Final three is Raquel Rodriguez, Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler. Stark and Baszler team up to pull Raquel over the top rope. Raquel hangs on but they chip away at her and eventually eliminate her. Final two is Zoe and Shayna. The two fight on the apron until Zoe hits a super kick and a DDT to eliminate Shayna to win. When the final two was Shayna and Zoe, I knew Zoe was winning. Shayna took the pin from Rhea in the Fatal Five way, so it was never going to be her. But congrats to Zoe. Zoe, of course, earns herself a Women's World Championship match at Survivor Series. Main event time: Sami Zayn challenges Seth Rollins for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Seth goes for a pedigree on the apron, but Sami counters with a back body drop, targeting Seth's injured back. Seth looks for a stomp. Sami counters with a blue thunder bomb, and Seth kicks out at two. Seth nails a pedigree degree but it's Sammy's turn to kick out it too. Sammy gets in a lion tamer and transitions into the Boston Crab but Seth is able to roll through it and steal the win. Sammy is gutted, you can see it on his face immediately after the match. The two do show respect after the match and shake hands but as Sammy leaves he gets attacked by Judgment Day. Seth tries to help Sammy fight them off but Judgment Day beat down the duo. Jey Uso comes out and at first they help Sammy and Seth as he super kicks his way through Judgment Day but even he's not enough to turn the tide. Finally Cody Rhodes comes out and the brawl gets wild, there's bodies everywhere, security referees and officials run down to split it up. In the ring, Adam Pearce takes the mic and says he's sick of the games. If the eight men want to play games, then they can in Chicago, November 25th. That's right, it will be Judgment Day versus Seth, Sammy, Jay and Cody in War Games! It was a good announcement from Pearce, but I still miss William Regal screaming War Games. Cody does a huge dive and the show goes off the air with the brawl still going.